Hello, and welcome to this presentation on Agile development for real-time embedded applications. My name is Justin Dyer, and I'm a System Solution Architect for IBM Rational. This presentation highlights an IBM Rational solution for an integrated systems lifecycle management. In the following demonstration, you will see a day in the life of an Agile development team for real-time embedded applications. A number of different domains will be touched upon throughout the demonstration. Some of these domains include requirements management, team collaboration, modeling, and quality management. Rational provides a suite of tools to help automate this solution. Those tools include Team Concert, Doors, Rhapsody, and Quality Manager. Here we can see the big picture of each one of these tools and the functionality that they provide. First, it starts with the requirements definition and management using doors. We can capture system functional analysis, architectural design, software design and implementation using Rhapsody. We can use Quality Manager to manage our test plans, test cases, scripts, and tie our testing artifacts to requirements and work items. We can enable team collaboration, configuration change management, release management, and process enactment using Rational Team Concert. We can also make use of the Jazz platform, which provides a number of services such as customized dashboards, event notifications, and search and queries. This particular example used in the demonstration shows an agile workflow for developing real-time embedded software. In this case, the team has chosen Scrum as the Agile process for the software development. Scrum has a number of different team roles or responsibilities. In this demonstration, we'll see roles such as the Scrum Master, who's essentially the project manager, the product owner that represents the stakeholders, and various members of the team that work in the different domains. Some concepts that we'll see are things such as stories, which are brief descriptions of user needs with a priority and complexity. The team will also have a product backlog, a set of high-level requirements of work. In this case, the team has already done a couple iterations or sprints. They are now on sprint number three and need to add a new feature to the application that they're working on. The roles played in this demonstration are as follows. Bob will play the role of the product owner. Scott is the Scrum Master. Deb is a developer on the team. Tanuj will be the test lead and Marco is the development lead. Here we can see an overall sequence of events that occur throughout the demonstration shown by different swim lanes here to represent the different team members as well as the activities that they perform. For example, we'll start here with Bob. The first thing he's going to do is create a new stakeholder requirement. He'll do this using Rational Doors. He'll then update the product backlog and describe the highest priority features using Rational Team Concert. Once that's completed, Scott will then define the sprint goal. In this case, we'll be working on sprint number three and agree to items to the backlog. In conjunction, Tanuj over in Quality Manager will start to align a test sprint plan. Scott will then check that alignment, and then Deb will begin to develop the new feature for the application. Once she has completed developing the application inside of Rhapsody, she'll kick off an integration build. Tanuj will be notified of that build and go ahead and start to execute test cases and submit defects via Quality Manager. Once the defect is found, Marco goes ahead and triages that defect, assigns it to Deb to be fixed, and then Tanuj reruns his test case to determine that the defect was indeed fixed. Throughout the demonstration, you'll see how everyone can monitor the overall sprint and how easily people are notified of different events that occur and how easily information is passed back and forth between the different users. Okay, so that's the overall flow of the demonstration. Now let's go ahead and step into the demo.
Okay, so what we see here is now the uh, the same swim lane we're just looking at, swim lanes. And uh, what we're going to do now is actually step through the demonstration, and we'll come back to this slide here just to kind of synchronize at uh, where we're at throughout the demonstration. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at uh, you know Bob's uh, work. So what we're going to see in this this following segment is Bob, the product owner, is going to go ahead and create a new stakeholder requirement, uh, then update the product backlog and describe the highest uh, priority features. Okay, so let's go ahead and navigate over to the demo, and let's see how Bob does this. So in this case, Bob uh, just got out of a meeting with stakeholders, and uh, on the new application that they're, they're building, uh, the stakeholders want a, uh, a new feature added to the product. And so uh, the first thing Bob's going to go ahead and do is add a new requirement uh, inside of Doors. So here we see uh, the Doors uh, uh, user interface. The Doors is a great tool for um, requirements, definition, and management. And what we can do is jump right into uh, the requirements uh, for this particular product. And the product that we're building here is a stopwatch. So here we see some of the requirements for the stopwatch. It has some basic functionality such as uh, starting and stopping the watch and resetting the watch and displaying the, uh, the elapsed time and so forth. Now from the stakeholder meeting, uh, Bob has determined that a new feature needs to be added and that is a lap timer. So what we're going to do is go ahead and add a new uh, requirement here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a new object here, a new requirement, and let's go ahead and put in the details uh, for this particular requirement. So uh, in this case, uh, it's going to be a lap timer and uh, what we'll say here is that uh, the stopwatch shall have a lap timer okay so we've entered in a new requirement and we'll go ahead and uh, save that so that's one of the first things uh, we need to do here uh, we've, we've added a new requirement but now we're gonna go ahead and actually uh, assign some some tasks uh, for the different team members to do to actually you know implement and test uh, this functionality that we're going to add to the stopwatch 